It's quiet. The silence is notable. Nothing but the sound of the hollowing cave of what was. Like the passing of a winter storm with no visual. Oddly enough, I begin to notice the snow under my feet and the faint cold breeze slowly dragging my hood to the side. The cold air flowing through. The snow is pretty pale, unmoving and still. There's not a lot to go off of. The entirety of Snowden is empty after the evacuation, but I couldn't really budge. Things just feel a little heavier today. Maybe that's also another excuse. I mustered my energy to take a few steps, dragging a few joints against the layers of snow. I take a moment to look. It's thick dust spread around, visible gashes and footsteps embedded into the snow. I can't say that I'm surprised either, just that, maybe, I'd hope to see him again. It's too late for something like that though. I just really wished it would have turned for the better, you know? Maybe another version of me is out there having fun. I guess this situation's on me. For once, I struggle to come up with anything. The thickness of the air really echoes my thoughts, the ceiling airing down any mass it has. I take one last look. The dust's still there, scattered in the snow quietly and peacefully barely distinguishable by texture, the slightly brighter tone, and that's all that's left of him, unmoving and still. Well, that's that then. Can't do anything about it, right? I'm not sure what the takeaway there is from this, if there even has anything to learn. I steadily move away, my hoodie gently tugging back against the movements. A faint, familiar smile graces my shoulders, but that's probably just my imagination. <laughs>